Hi, everyone. Thank you, Dean Marios. Um, and Good afternoon, faculty, staff, families, and fellow anteaters. First, I want to wish a happy early Father's Day to all the dads and father figures here. <laughs> and to the class of 2025, congratulations, we did it! <laughs> Let me take you back to fall of 2023. I was in over my head. First year transfer me, thought it would be a good idea to take, I'm just gonna take this off, give me a second. <laughs> Sorry, um, yeah, first year transfer me, thought it would be a good idea to take ICS 46 as my very first coding class. <laughs> I got a 33% on my first midterm. Yeah, panicked, I hiked up four flights of stairs to Professor Schindler's office, heart racing, expecting him to tell me that I didn't belong here. Instead, he said, I've seen students in your shoes climb their way up. I see how hard you're working. And if you keep at it, you'll get there. And that was the first time I realized Maybe I wasn't so alone. Because back in 2019, I was 18 and I lived in a youth shelter. I'd always wanted to study computer science, but there I was told that I couldn't attend college, I could only work. And so I worked. I built a photography business from the ground up in a new city where I knew no one. I worked in mortgages, and I clocked 12-hour shifts and took books home to study. I was a private tutor, a live-in nanny, a loan specialist. I even bussed tables once. And when I finally enrolled back into community college three years out of school and seven years out of math, I grinded out problems every night, just trying to catch up. I watched my peers graduate, start careers, move forward while well, I was just fighting to survive. And the worst part, I had no one. And so by the time I got to UCI, I was older than most of my classmates. I felt like an outsider and I assumed I'd have to go through it alone again. I wanted to keep my head down and just finish. But this time, something was different. I started going to office hours, and then labs, and then Wix events. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it was uh, late night dinners after labs and 3 a.m. study sessions at Gateway. It was crumple trees <laughs> and leading lectures for both LAs and students. It was networking events that led to connections and connections that led to a summer internship at SAP. It was the people that uplifted me and handed me these opportunities that I just needed to reach for. See, sometimes it's not about changing who you are, but it's about finding the place where who you are can thrive. So as a wise professor once told me, I see how hard you're working. And if you keep at it, you'll get there. And so wherever there is for you, whether it's a job, a promotion, a new chapter, lean into your community. They will be your lifeline. And if you don't have one, Reach out to mentors, managers, professors, peers. You never know where a connection can lead you. See, I want to be a reminder that education is a privilege, and so is this community. And today, we are so lucky to have both. So to the class of 2025, congratulations once again. And for the last time, if you guys all want to join me, Everyone, <laughs> on the count of three, one, 
two, three. Zot, zot, zot. <laughs>